that ordeal went down in Virginia was, see what that was, my sister, she was, I didn't know it at the time. I know she was doing growth and stuff, but she was doing basalt and gravel. And what gravel? And tripping and stuff. I mean, I didn't, I know she was tripping a little bit, but I let her, we was buying my away grandmother's place and I had a thin canker pulled in over that's what we lived in here too at first when me and her first got together and then we had moved to Russell County Virginia on my grandmother's place and I let my sister start staying there and she got working on that gravel and stuff. What gravel? It's more or less like ice of red holes and stuff in it. Yeah. I mean, it makes them a trip. Mm-hmm. They see everything. <laughs> everything you ought to get them. So she was tripping and, and she... And she come in and we'll see my old age. My kids got up that morning they went to school. All of them but little friend. And he was with Laura at the neighbors. The neighbors, uh, old man was getting ready to come home from the hospital. He had chains and stuff. And she went over and hit her to clean up and stuff for him to come home. Well, during that time, there was nobody there but me. My sister comes in my house, shoots at me while I'm asleep. And the only thing saved me, we'd been shooting toilet paper the day before. My gun I had was registered everything. I mean, I bought it straight out. It was registered. I had my gun carrying permit, everything. And, but... This was before you were found? I still don't know to the day why she done it. But we, the day before we... Sh- been toilet paper and she had 22 dillinger is over and under 20 magnum dillinger well she'd run out of shells well i put some 17 things the same case and but the bullet really and the only thing saved me because when she pulled trigger way the end of the shells made it is popped you see mm-hmm. and the bullet ain't accurate then it is it's loose in the barrel and when it come out it missed me but she just had to uh, one more shot but I saw two rounds in the outside wall, uh, top of the outside wall, and then she evidently went and called my mom down here uh-huh. from Russell County and told her a bunch of shit. And then my mom called over and told my told him, I was supposed to get the dance, and I was hoping uh, Lord Hoss, you young Hoss, you done young shot the house, all that, set me kill him, I was dead. And then she locked, the squat can come up. They didn't come out to see if anything going on or nothing. They sent the uh, squat team out with 26 spellings, 6 and a and rest one right then. And see, that's what lost young was over. 26 felonies? Yeah. Were you a felon before that? No. I had no charge before that. I knew you didn't I mean, have it. I was going to say, you don't have, like, before. I didn't find anything really on you. Um, Not too much. They took him. See, even when they got me, I, when they knocked on the door, I went, I looked out the blind, I thought it was her maybe coming back to explain herself or something. See, I don't even know why she even done it to today. Only thing I can see is, she's tripping. I see that gun she's holding, I see her car keys in her left hand. I mean, this plain day. Well, she had this uh, weird look on her face. I mean, she said, I mean, she was sitting right over me. I don't see how she missed me. But he went from the bed into the floor. What's it, which but sister was it? My oldest sister, Julie. And she was just tripping on um, yeah. that basketball yeah. or yeah. something and like I, that. That's my opinion. I mean, I know she's been tripping. Probably. Early that day and stuff. And I'd place in my mind why she'd even done it, you know, I mean, why she even try to harm me. She never did something like that before to you? Mm-hmm. Mm. But, I'm sorry that yeah. happened. That's horrible. But, I, I can't believe... Like when, when they took me in jail, even though they, for four more days, they served me with, <laughs> it's unreal, it's the same charge they served me in there. On each child, like the children was there, and they was at school, they wasn't there. But they tried to say that they was there, and that's the reason they ended up losing a lot and stuff. But there was one there, right? Just the one? No, there wasn't none there. Oh, all of them were at school. No, little Fred was with Laura at the neighbors. They went nobody there, but this neighbor and my sister come in. 
You see, and then that, they're trying to say that I was shot in the wild while the young ones is there and stuff, and like it was me and her fight, and it was uh, wicked one of them. Oh my God. And then the cops and stuff, they lied, they're trying to, so I went court 15 times before I even got turned good. I spent three and a half years, to finally took a plea, got her sitting in there. You got what in there? I took a plea. And, and then they let you out? No. No, they just liked about it instead and threatened to hold me four more years. I'd be in front of court. Well, I was supposed to be in front of the judge. Every time I'd go, they would pay phone, so I went 15 times before I ever got in front of the judge. <laughs> but that is like, even when, well, no, I'm lying. I had to go, not on my charges, but on the kids were. They took them stuff. I had to go court and stuff over some of that, you know, I mean, they, uh, social services and stuff. And that is like the woman that come in and took the kids and stuff out of the home. She's sitting on my lap, everything in courtroom. I mean, this crazy shit. Man. Sitting on your lap? Yeah. Who was? The woman that took the kids, the DHS worker. Oh, she's sitting on your lap. <laughs> Eleven hours and everything. Just right there in the courtroom, just like, nobody else is there. <laughs> I mean, stupid shit. Nice. Just like my young one sitting in there on the back row, and me sitting in there, so I go change that, so they had me on high flight risk, so I hadn't lived in Virginia for like six months. When we moved to Virginia, I lived, didn't even leave my property. Because I was afraid I'd get in trouble. I never even left for six months we lived there off the property. Why, did you, why were you afraid you were going to get in trouble? I just know how Virginia is. I mean, the laws and stuff. And, and you, just, well, you didn't want to get in no kind of trouble or nothing. And, and oh. Stay home. Oh, because were you probably, were you using or something and just you from home? Oh. I like yeah. Oh. I mean, I, when we first moved to Virginia, we cleaned up and had to, done that in a long time and we got twenty dollars having enough money to make a light bill and I called my mother and asked her to borrow you twenty dollars she didn't have twenty dollars but she had thirty rocks and thirties that I could sell or whatever you see mm -hmm. and knowing that I had them and they down and out again that I'm going to use more likely. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's always been push with push, like that. Every time you try to get clean or anything, family and stuff always got you right back where they want you. It's, it's all about control. I mean, everywhere I've tried to live, my mother's caused all kinds of shit. I mean, told people we printed off of and stuff, telling them, oh, look. I'll rob them or I'll do this or I'll that. This Why is that? Is your mom... She don't... As long as I'm... Like this is her place. As long as I'm here, she's got control, she thinks. Wasn't it something like... Didn't she say that you guys were supposed to... Or one of you guys was supposed to get inherent or something like that? Yeah, I was supposed to took in... See, we give up two different places in Virginia that we almost had paid off. And... My dad, he didn't put that off loose and stuff, and what that was, my mom was poisoning me for strict nine. Wow. Poisoned her with strict nine. They going to charge me with it at our Green County. One of your dad? Yeah. Huh? Your dad? Oh, yeah, that's what no, my mom was doing. My, your dad, but she was poisoning your yeah. dad. And, I mean, he thought somebody was out to kill her and stuff. And, and he never and used drugs or anything? anything? No. He Did your mom? No, mom. She just well, she she don't pain medicine now, but it's prescribed. Does she have mental issues? Or is any kind of street goes, I've never known the mom or dad need one. Here, but she, you know? but she has mental issues. Huh? She has mental issues. Mental know. issues. Mental like. Well, I mean, I'm guessing if she's going to try to kill your dad, that you'd have to have something kind of wrong with you. Or was it money or something that she was trying to get? Mm. Like in no, life insurance? No, she gets mad at people and does stupid shit to get revenge on them. Just, I mean, it, don't, it ain't got to be nothing big. Was she always mean to you as a kid? 
What's the name she has to Kenneth? Yeah, well, she's on it. You know what I mean? My dad is real. I mean, we had walking age shields mm-hmm. you know, our whole life. I mean, just like when I was growing up from age seven, I was, I was either hunting or training horses or something. I was never hardly home at all. I mean, as soon as I got off the bus from school, I either hit the mountain or got on horse and I was gone until I went back to school the next day and stuff. I mean... I think that, uh, I think that speaking of the horses, I think that, wasn't it Jody Sue, like, saying that you used to ride your horse out here? Did, did you for Yeah, and, uh, and he, she, I think she was trying to accuse you of feeling things or something. I don't know what she was trying to say. That lady's so crazy. That lady's so crazy. Does she have a reputation? probably when this man over here, I had a little news. And this man over here, every time I hang tied, I'd up here, I'd tie him out and stuff, and he'd cut, he'd take and cut him loose, no matter what I put on him. He, even oh, under lock and chain, he'd cut him loose. What the heck? And, I mean, he told me everything, man. He told me everything. <laughs> but I feel like he, he has threatened me that he would see that I wasn't in his car anymore and stuff, no matter how old he had to go. You know, so. Wow. I mean, that came out of his own mouth. Wow, something, you know, something happened See, to you. I will talk, talk to you all the way around me now. I mean, I don't know about where mom on five acres just right here. I'm just about what you see in this boat. Yeah. But he owns all the way around it. I don't know. Where did, your, where did your grandfather live when he passed? This next house right here. He lived right there? Yeah. That's where he committed suicide? That's what he had bought with my grandmother. That's the one, the house that he committed suicide? Is that, is that the one that's haunted? Uh, it ain't haunted. People, I guess Andy or somebody was saying that one of the houses on here is haunted. No, that, this whole hall is, is really haunted. That's why nobody really travels this hall. But it's the biggest, most, biggest traffic. It seems like people. Nobody will hunt this hard enough and not coon hunt and stuff at night because of the spirits and stuff that's in here. I mean, they ain't none that are harm you or nothing, but you just. A lot of people see them and stuff, see stuff, and then see. Like in 1944, there's a man on. A little spot on the top of the, what they call a little mountain where the chimney top and little mountain met. He passed away and he had monkeys at the time. And see, they turned their monkeys loose in here. And they're still in here. Really? And that's why a lot of people don't fool around in here because of the monkeys. Because they will get aggressive, like, especially if you buy yourself or. A couple of people will say it different, but if you by yourself or walking anywhere in, in here, you better have something back them off because they will come in and... Uh, You've seen yeah. actual monkeys out here? Mm-hmm. You've seen monkeys out here? Yeah. I mean, big monkeys. Like... All little monkeys, I don't know about big monkeys. And they don't climb the trees like you think and stuff. They stay on the ground most of the time. I mean, big. I'm talking about... 150 to 200 pounds, monkeys. Wow. I, mean, I wonder how would they would how they would survive in the cold weather, like the winters. Well, like it gets down to about say 37 degrees, you won't hear one, you won't, no signs of one nowhere. They weren't hollering here earlier, like well they weren't this time. Tonight it was last night. It was all in early last night. Was, but they'll start out and sound like a horn owl. They'll hear the time or two, and then you'll hear one way off. Then once it answers the way the heat, all oh, they'll cut loose. Uh, all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> but August is evidently the breeding breeding time because they you hear them day and night. Then usually you just hear them at the night. Other than the month of August. The month of August, they get really aggressive, seem like. 
mean, they do come in close down here. And, I mean, they come in right here. I don't even talk about the edge of the wood and into the trailer and stuff. And, I mean, it's crazy. I had somebody come here about a month ago and they, I, they were sitting in the car out there and I talked to them. They, one who didn't, he, he said, that would be a while, wasn't it? I just got laugh, you know. And he said, where are you guys now? I said, you'll find out in a minute. And I heard that one answer. He heard Jim, they were going way to your answer. And boy, he cut loose. And when they cut loose, cabbage coming. I'm talking about, you can hear them coming. What's I coming? I'm talking about 30, 40 feet at a time. Coming running. <laughs> in. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, I mean, but I've been around all my life. The monkeys? Yeah, the monkeys. They got human-like face. They got bigger nose, like, but they got human-like face. They got more of a beard-like, but they got like a mane, like a lion. Uh-huh. And they, most times, once I've seen no, it's hard to really see them. You hear them more than you see them. But if you had never experienced them and stuff, you'd think it was an owl at first, you know, a horn owl or anything. But once they cut loose, you know right off that it's not no owl, you know. Because they feel like like name and everything. I mean, it's crazy. Wow. I mean, Have you got, you should get that on tape because, the, or something. I need to because oh, so this life on the, I doubt you're very supposed to have them. They get mad as hell. And, but I've lost my teeth now that I can't make it to the racket like they used to. It's time to like that sound. How do you go around? Because I thought monkeys only lived in warm weather. And I, I didn't think there was any in the United States, actually. I thought... They just probably got in here illegally. And I'm assuming and. See, when that man passed away, the family didn't want to have nothing to do with them. So, I mean, they just more or less open cages and turn them out. And then they just, for, until the late 90s, you didn't hear them nowhere as but his father. But now, I've heard them, like, towards Rogersville, on down that way, and on the different places, but for the longest time, like, up to the late 90s, I'm, I'm thinking, Maybe it's big foot. Maybe it's big foot. Do you believe in big foot? Yeah, I believe in big foot. You do. Yeah, they've stuck in these mountains and stuff that they ne- people have never seen. Yeah, probably. I don't, I don't even think that there's monkeys in Florida. I'm trying to think where monkeys are in the wild. Monkeys in Florida. They call squirrel monkeys. There's squirrel monkeys down here. But the monkeys I'm talking about, they're big monkeys that's been brought in here probably from Africa or somewhere. I mean, they're not... Like, low, um, like gorilla-type monkeys? Yeah. Yeah, they're big. Or where are they? Stuff. I mean, they, they're big enough to hurt, hurt you bad. Yeah. I'm talking about things. Teeth stick out like that. Yeah, I mean... Well, do you think it's possible that something, an animal could have got from us? Not likely, it's all dogs. I just don't see no animal that come in. What about bear? Have you seen bear back here? Yeah, I've seen them on my hands. Uh, I mean, what kind of bear? Black bears. They was a brown bear in there for a long time, but he, he's been gone for five years, so he come in here. First time I seen him was in 84. And that is like he had to kill this heifer calf right here in this next field. And if she probably she come down and carried her, and you can see a drag mark or nothing. I don't know about this bear was 1100 pounds on his bear. He's brown bear. Everybody let on like all he had is a blonde back bear. He wasn't no blonde back bear. Because I know he brought the bear in here. He was one of my uncles that went a rad from war and he come my way to Alabama and Georgia and stuff leading it with the chain. And I got pictures, or I did have pictures, it's been burning down. But, and that's where the bear comes from, you know. And he was here till 
from probably the 60s from to I'm saying five, six years ago with the last time I seen him and I figured he got old enough that he just died a little day before I figured it. Because they ain't nobody making them kill or anything. So are there any bear attacks around here? I've not never heard none. I mean, because now that's what people, like... That people, is, uh, I don't think it's angry to people on the rail. Because I've not had no trouble out of them. I mean, stand your ground with them. Go come in a lot of times, try to get you to run and stuff. If you run, they might get you. I don't know. Because I ain't never run, but... What do you do? Uh, they'll come and I, you pretty much just stand there and make, make, if they try to rush you, just stand your ground, just throw your hands out like that. I have smacked them and stuff. I mean, <laughs> I mean you just stand your ground with them just like you would somebody. I mean, for real. And, and Make yourself much bigger like that? Animals is really intelligent. A lot more than people think. Um, animals. I've raised all kinds of animals and they're so intelligent. Yeah. They're, they're pretty much just like we are. And if you talk to them just like we are, they understand everything you say. Yeah. Do you, do you know um, Clyda Trent? The one, um, I guess she used to live over there at Donna Candace's at one, like back when um, his mom was alive or something maybe. Uh, I think she's related to the Trent girl that we're missing. Um, um, have you ever, I started to ask, well, I did talk to your girlfriend about it, but, um, kind of, but I figured you'd know more about it. Yeah, it Lord, she's her. When we got here, I don't think, I think Miss Good might been already. Hey. About the same year, I think she said, 2007. Yeah, okay. um, or two, I think she, I think Karen Karen Go passed in 2007. Is there any chance that she was like a sister wife? Have you ever heard anything about sister, like people having uh, multiple wives, like like in, anything about that with Don's dad? Um, okay, because I know that she has Don's dad has like like several. Um, I guess he he has several um, kids by his mom, so I didn't know. And also, um, when Don... He, he talked about, like, his, his mom moved from, from, like, California or something to Virginia, and then he was, like, a cult-like thing or something or the, the man that she moved in with or something that was in Virginia or something like that was a cult-like way down. I mean, Dawn had me something like that, you know. That she that was... I ran with somewhere with, I mean, that was something with Miss Me talking about something that was on the way. What, with his mom? His mom was involved in a cult? His mom said, he like, his, everybody, his mom had had a relationship or anything, this was more or less like a cult, like, uh... When he was with that, when she was with that Kelly guy, like, he was, um, he, she was married at least three times, his, so she, he, so you're saying Don was talking about his mom was involved, or his mom, or some guy that she was involved with was in a cult. Right. Right? Is that, is that what you're saying? Before, before her last husband. Yeah. Well, he said, I'm like, everyone that she had any kind of relation with was a cult, but... That's what I'm saying. Do you think... I was wondering if maybe she was yeah, a sister wife. Like, when uh, Rick Howard told him about... Tell me about what he had told him, you know, and stuff, and... By then, if they did say about it, it'd have to be some kind of cult, you know. So that would kind of relate back to probably his mom and all, everybody she, his, I don't know how to say it, like... Because they will, his, his family is like Mormon, um, LDS Church, Latter-day Saints, mm -hmm. but the part that they're like a part of, they're not like, usually it's the fundamentalists that have several wives. Anytime you need to go, just let me know. Sorry. Okay. okay um, 
um, because I really feel like that his mom must have, was a, a sister wife to a lady named Clyde Trent who's actually still alive, and um, she was she's the one that inherited that house up there. It went to her, who was supposedly his Karen Goes supposed best friend before it even went to Don. Don got the house off of that Clyde Trent lady, and I was thinking like. That sounds like some type of sister wife, like if she was the other wife or something, and it went to her, and she was, like, I don't know, but, and because the reason why I thought that is because I was noticing stuff with that, like that, with Don's dad, like he had a lot of different, like, girls. I mean, I know that's normal now, People, guys will have kids from different women, all, but, like, back then, um, it, yeah, and, um, she, he, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding any birth certificates on any of his family. And I they would kind of stay under the radar or something. I mean, I really, kind of way I take it, way I've heard him talk. I mean, I, I didn't hear everything he said or nothing, but this way I get it. That's the way they said stuff and this and that. It's like they've always tried to stay on the radar, like carnivals and stuff like that, working in uh, circuses and stuff. And most times when people have been mad, they're trying to stay on the radar. And a lot of times they use use same name, their name or kid, pretty much. Yeah. Yes. Why is it do that? It those people out there that don't know exactly which one is saying stuff a lot of times. Because they throw that name out there and then it could be him, 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 him. <laughs> you know? That's true. So, yeah, because like... Then it's hard to charge all of them because they had to be one of them. Proving which one of them is is hard a lot of times. But see how like you see how your like your dad's name's Ronald Fred, I'm afraid, I'm but you're Fred, Fred Junior. And ju- Junior's are your actual middle name, yeah. right? It's not actually you're not a junior. You're just no. um, my son's name Fred Junior. junior just okay, okay. But see, like Don, yeah, I'm having. I mean, I it's. He has a son. It's great. It's like, at, at the end of the road, when he first turned his car, a Donnie Rail, or the Donnie Chambers. Okay. And then, the next first house on the other side is Donnie Rail. Okay. And then, the next place up is another Donnie. Donnie, Don, uh, Shurfee? Shurfee. See, Don, Don, Don. So, Shurfee, Shurfee. And there's another Don. Blue, blue, they call him Blue House Don. I guess he has a blue... Or maybe they, that might be the first one that was like about... There's something about Blue Roof Don or something. One of them has... They, that's what they call him on YouTube. I don't know. Uh-huh. I know uh, the person that's turning in the holler, I know he broke his neck in the pool. Um, um, Shirky, that's the one... Um, his son that got in trouble with a bunch of uh, child porn, right? I don't know. Yeah, um... I think I've heard something about it or something like that, I don't know. Did you ever, you didn't ever hear anything like that with Don? Yeah. With Don Wells, you didn't hear anything about any... No, he had never, I had never thought any way that Don would, any way for you kids. Because every time I seen Don or Candace, Don usually was one day to kind of take care of the kids and stuff, and... You know, and I even told him one day, I said, if it wasn't you and the kids, this would tell what would happen, you know, with them. But I don't know what that ground, you know. <laughs> she was mentioning something that, okay, so I brought up that truck down there that you, you said, you got, when did you get that from her? From it was him? about roughly two months before summer. And, and was it blue? Was it blue or red? Because he was driving around a red one. No, that matter. It, it's a real dark cover a hundred, hundred green. So, because he had a red truck that he was driving around that... I've never seen Don in no red truck. And maybe it was that one because the red the red interior so, looks like... has not been drove in probably 25 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so... He's been like that right there. I just, I mean, 
he come here one night and I was uh, working on a motor out here and he mentioned that truck had a motor in it that's what's been rebuilt and stuff. That's how it come about. He'd give me that truck for the motor and stuff out of it. So he, it hadn't been driven for a long time when you went and towed it down here? He never drove that truck. Darn it. Because he was driving around the truck. For some parts off of it, say somebody else. So he had never drove it. Because he, he was driving around truck that's on his Facebook that has like a red interior kind of like that. Um, if you get a chance, try to look that up and see, um, because it... I only drove three dollars. He drove a, a black looking truck, something like that, but I think it had blue interior. Since I remember did, I mean, he drove a, a four-wheel drive truck, a light blue one, which is still down there. Well, every truck that he's ever drove, that I've ever seen him drove, it's still down there. Did I've make, never seen him drive no red truck. Did, he, did they make you pay for that truck? Or did you no, give him anything? No, Okay. Yeah. Um, the reason why I asked, it has nothing to do with the truck, really. It's because when your your wife, or I'll just say wife, you know, you've been together long enough, you know, um, said that she went with you, right? Did she go with you to pick up that truck yeah. up over yeah. on Lincoln? And it's when she went there, that was just like a month or two before summer went missing. Okay. And that uh, Candace was there. And that uh, Candace was pregnant. Yeah. And that uh, Candace had, had had a young man about, I'm thinking about months before summer went missing and give it up, you know. She's had supposedly several. Since um, first, best I remember, I mean, he came out of Candace's own mouth, I mean, down there that she'd give it mother to keep on living the lifestyle or going through the lifestyle or something other like as the family or something. It didn't make sense, you know. I took it like it had been, maybe being molested or something like that or something. Is that why he was getting rid of, because she was getting rid of all the girls? That's what, yeah. See, she... She talked like she had two girls at a summer, but Dawn, she didn't know she was pregnant with one of them at all until she done had it and done give it up and stuff that day, you know, before he even got off work that day. And then they caused a big problem and stuff like for a while, I reckon. But so, but she went about to... a month, that there was about a month before summer was his, and you couldn't even tell she's pregnant or nothing. I mean, because she said, Laura said that Candace stood up, and Candace, or and Laura said she noticed her stomach like she looked like she was gonna, like she was pregnant, and she said that Candace was like, "Yeah, I'm pregnant again." And this was like oh, when we were going to get that that truck. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, they they deny any type of kid that, um They deny the only one that they that I know of that it was one that was before summer, uh, one girl before summer supposedly. And, um... But they should be in two after some. Was she going to the hospital and having them? Having them? Uh, or was she just having them? She was, but... Or was she still them? She's got me wondering now. <laughs> if she if sold them? Have them and not... Have them and done something with them or something. Well, I mean, yeah, know, like selling them. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering now. Because she did told us she went to the hospital without us to check any injuries or anything. We wouldn't know, you know. And just assume that she did. Just taking Because, away. I mean, like, how would anybody know? You know what I mean? It's like, because you know what? It makes sense. Because when she first, when Summer went first missing, she was bigger. I mean, and I thought, well, I thought she's like lost a lot of weight. And I thought, oh, it's just the stress of the, everything going on. Um, but then when your wife told me about about that, I'm like, wait, she was bigger well, and she lost a lot of weight. That makes sense. They've been several people that we talked to that has even asked us, you know, have you heard that we've heard that Candace told us that she was pregnant and stuff and this is this. I said, yeah, she, we've heard, you know, through Candace and so it ain't just us that knows 
It's other people too. Who, who, is there anybody you could say or you want to keep them out of it? I know Vicky Dykes. She hung around Vicky Dykes after a while. Vicky Dykes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that she's been questioning her nothing much. She, she ain't lived around. She used to live when you get there in the hall and you turn up the main road, mm -hmm. the first house on the left. That's where they, they hung out a lot. Wales is, used to go out there and drink with uh, Vicky's old man, which is Bill Benton. So he got arrested down here. Bill Benton? About six months ago, so at the Wales. Is, really? Yeah. For, for what? Six uh, months ago? Yeah, about six months ago. After someone went missing? For what? Uh, they had a party or something like what I was gathered or heard, you know. They had some kind of party or something like other, and I don't know. They supposed to be like five or six of them beat him up or something and called a lot of them or something. And this was at 110? Uh, this was at 110 Ben Hill? Yeah. Bill Benton? Yeah. Do you have a pen out here? I wish I would have brought. I have a, it's not. It's not a big deal. I just. Yeah, I'll go to. Okay.